What is political economy? Political economy is basically a, a mix of the economy and and politics, essentially. You know, it's as it says there, the social relationships of power. Our fundamental human needs, how are they met in this society, right? And political economy really looks at four things. It looks at the relationships of property. It looks at the relationships involved in work. It looks at how we structure power, rule, who rules, how they rule, etc., and how we try to provide the framework in which our needs, liberty, and justice arise. The question that I posed last time was, of these work, property, needs, and consumption, and power and rule, what is at the center of it? What's the unifying idea? At one point in time, it was all about force. Whoever, whoever was the strongest controlled the government, they controlled the property, they controlled work, um, needs, and consumption. Well, race, race is at the center. Because race, I mean, we look at property, you know, folks, of, of folks who were not white weren't allowed to own property. Um, Folks who weren't white got lousy jobs, if any, right? They weren't allowed to vote. The, oh, no, 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 gender, gender, gender's at the middle of this. You know, women didn't get any property. Women had, women get, didn't, you know, they didn't get the right to vote. And what I would say to all that stuff, after 60 some years and like 40 years of working through this, is that it's all of those things. But essentially what, what happens in this whole system is the way we attack problems and the way we set up our problem solving gets to be really controlled. It's not simply controlled by profit because profit and money as we know is actually controlling government and the ruling class. So these things are framed, they're presented to us oftentimes in ways that are very narrow. And we're told, look, you know, you can either have low-income housing in Baltimore, you know, and, and poverty and <laughs> crime, or you can have gentrified neighborhoods, you know, coffee shops, etc. right? Is there profit or scarcity? These decisions, these, this, uh, this notion that, like, there are only two choices, is something that's been opposed upon um, to Curtis Bay and the Curtis Bay region since its origin. So like when we think about Forever Street Garden and the relationship with DPW and the tension there, like Todd just said, like the, the choices that are laid out before mm -hmm. us are destroy the garden or you don't get free or you don't get clean water. And that's not, that's not reality. The, the options that are now being placed upon us um, in the Curtis Bay region, um, with whether it be with Fairfield or DPW, between do you want clean water or this garden that you spent 10 years building, or if it's with the Bresco incinerator. And it's like, well, do you want to, would you rather burn your waste or landfill it? Um, these, are, these are false options, these are false narratives, and we have many, many more. So we want to really think about um, how each of us have journeyed to leadership school. So the exercise we would like to do is called um, a journey, a personal journey essentially, okay? So um, you saw me cutting paper up here uh, to get your individual sheets, right? We all have a story to tell about displacement, about impermanence, about uh, being forced out of a home into another or opportunities coming, right, um, our way. And obviously we're all gathered from distinct backgrounds, passions, interests, uh, even work commitments or not. So what we really want this to be your personal journey. So you can do it however you want. It could be just words, right, And as the other exercise was. And then what we'd like to do is break you guys off into groups to really share out your personal journeys, right, of movement, of conflict, of struggle, some of the kinds of things we've highlighted around housing, right, and then what brought you kind of to this space, okay?
this allows us to get to know one another really well. And part of political movements is shared histories. 